She's making me a cheese sandwich uh, here. Uh -huh. And do I put this inside too? Uh huh. It's healthy. Everything? Just go all out here? Whoa. Uh -huh. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. And grapes? <laughs> Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful Yerevan, Armenia. Today I'm very excited because I'm doing a dual market tour. I'm going to be visiting two of the most famous markets here in Yerevan. It's called the Gul Market, which is right behind me. This is a produce market. You know, I already ate breakfast, but they told me I might be able to try some stuff. Maybe some cheese, some bread, maybe some pomegranate juice, maybe some meats. So they have like dried fruits, vegetables, meats, cheese, endless stuff here. And then after this, we're going to the Vernissage Market, which is like the flea market. It. And there you can buy, basically buy crafts, souvenirs. So please come with me and let's explore the markets of Yerevan. Let's go. Rita and Vanuhi, Vanuhi are going to be my guides today. We're going to explore together. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Wow. This is the dried food part. Wow, look at all these dried fruits. This is amazing. Oh my god, so many things. What do they got? What can I, can I try all this? I can try? Wow. Oh my god, apricot, walnut, honey, orange. orange? Apple. That was so delicious. This is fig and walnut. Walnuts with sweetness of grapes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like an Armenian sneaker. <laughs> so it's basically walnuts wrapped in grapes. Yes. Grapes like paste. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's amazing, and this is all here? Yeah. Then dry peach. Uh, dried food of peach. Like, it's quite sweet. If you want, I, I will give it to try. I uh, have one. <laughs> <laughs> is it peach? You mean the Is it peach? Yes. Mmm. Oh, wow. Delicious. Super dried. Mmm. Mm. A little bit of textures. It's a little sweet. It's amazing. So, uh, so this is uh, lavash for plum from plum. You can try. Plum lavash. <laughs> well, mm. it's basically plums that have been flattened. Wow, that's good. I eat plums like every day. Okay, what else do you have? You have so many things. Whoa, what is this one? Okay, this is a kind of date which is like typical Armenian. So it's unab date. It almost tastes like an apple. It has a consistency of an apple. This is a dried apricot you were yes. saying. It's the only one that's... The become dry like on the tree. On the tree? Yes. Okay. Mm. So. Oh. Oh, well, it's pretty good. The only problem is it has a seed inside. So you yeah. have to be careful with that. So like, eat around it, right? Very yeah. sticky. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Nice like, though. There is no chemical here, so... No. <laughs> Super organic. And I love the figs. Can I try one fig? Like this? That's amazing. <laughs> wow. Almond mm -hmm. with dried cherry. With dried cherry. Okay, I'm going to try one. I've never seen this almond with a dried cherry. It's so beautiful. I love it. By the way, the contrast yeah. between the almond and the sticky cherry. Yeah, it's like mm. very interesting. Very interesting. There are more than 20 vendors in this market and each of them is selling different kind of products like dried food that we were trying just a few minutes ago. Like a lot of people, they are selling Armenian bread, which is lavash. Uh, a lot of people uh, selling like uh, Armenian cheese, typical cheese, uh, cheese of goat, cheese of different kind of like animals and we, we should try. Also fruits, like not dried food, but fresh fruits, vegetables. Um, meat and also a lot of kind of spices we should try it, it, it's that part and a kind of some souvenirs but it's not the souvenir market just it, it's some some the small place that people are like selling souvenirs because there are a lot of tourists here so we can go and explore everything so this section we have all the fruits yeah, just fresh ones. fresh ones this is like an amazing peach right yes. there oh my god the figs these are like plums the apples, pears, more figs. Wow, it's fig season, I'm guessing, right? Because yes. there's so many figs. And here, look at this. I haven't seen grapes this tiny. 
Look at this. You're this is. Everything. I'm about to like eat him. No, no, no. I'm joking. I'm joking. She's gonna. She's not gonna <laughs> be happy with that. <laughs> this is a basturma, typical Armenian meat. So like this is prepared from the cow meat, and sojuk is prepared from um, from the mix of pork and uh, cow meat. Wow, nice piece, my friend. Wine, pomegranate wine. Mm -hmm. Test. Wow, good, amazing. I know. Look at this. Oh, it's like it's like peppery and salty at the same time on the outside. Inside is a nice piece of meat. This is crazy good. Whoa, pomegranate wine. Here. <laughs> mm. So it, they say it's pomegranate wine, but it's really like pomegranate juice. And it has alcohol, right? So it's been fermenting. This is really good, my friend. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Anush. 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 No. Priatnush to bila. Spasiba. Shnona kalutsuni. Ajerutsun. 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 Thank you. This guy's a man. His food is phenomenal. The wine was so good. The hospitality here in Armenia is incredible. That's one thing I love about this part of the world, the hospitality. You know, it's always up there. Look at this, like what is this? This is like honey, honey. Like, it's honey? Yes, as you want it. This part. <laughs> what? This part, honey, okay. honey. Yes. Uh, and this, this these are gems, yes, of different muraba, like Armenian muraba, and gems of different Armenian like fruits. For example, this is like this is from cherry, I guess. Yes, this is from cherry. This is from mulberry. This is from pear. This is from strawberry, maybe. Yes, this yes, this is strawberry. strawberry. And what I like about it is that you actually have the fruit inside. Yes. So it's like the jam with the fruit. It's yes. not yes. just the jam. No, no, no. It's, it's like it's actually better because it gives you a little more flavor, yes, right? Yes. Wow, and then this is all honey? Yes, this is the honey. Wow, I love honey. I'm like a honey like addict. Uh, oh, that's with the, with, the, uh, with the honeycomb? Yes. Wow, this is really, really nice. Incredible. So we have tried a lot of things like basturma, dried fruits. So it's time to try Armenian cheese from goats and from co. And I think that David is fond of me, uh, like cheese and he's uh, looking forward to tasting every kind of cheese. So. Uh, as you know, Armenians are hospitable and they will be very happy to treat us with Armenian cheese. Exactly. So, and so it's, it's cheese and also there's like, uh, well, like meats and chicken, and like poultry. Meat, yes, and also we will try to find like a dried Armenian lavash and just a fresh... Oh, dried Armenian yes. lavash, okay. So here we have the poultry, so you got chicken, yes, more chicken, chicken, more dried, dried fruit. Fruits. Wow. Oh, this is a beautiful market. Very clean, very open. I love the ceiling heights. A lot of light coming in. Yes. So you don't need extra light. Oh, and here you have all the spices. Look at the spices. Wow, so many spices. I mean, this part of the world, it's like spices is king, you know? Yeah, so. But, but, but main, uh, like, uh, not all of them are just typical this is like spices. Because some of them are... Okay. Yeah, this is too much. Oh, it's too good. So right here to the left, we have like, the meat section. As you can see, they're like just butchering away, cutting up all the meat, putting it to the side, and it's really, really authentic. As you can see, they're hanging pieces of the cow right here, huge pieces. They cut it up, you know, with a knife and then an ax. And usually how it works here is that you order a piece, you know, you want something, and they'll, they'll cut it up for you, unless they already have it here and it's ready for you, you know? So all this is really cut fresh. One of the best things about this is that this is all like, you know, farm to table. So that was like, you know, they killed the cow today, and you're eating it today. Take it fresher than that. Here at the meat market, they don't just have cow, they also have pork and lamb. This is the country of meat. Meat, wine, and cheese. Yes. That's what this country is all about. And over here we have more vegetables. fresh vegetables. Yeah. Wow. I mean, the smell is amazing. The aroma. Oh, hello. <laughs> Pani is cheese? Pani. Yes, it's cheese. Pani. Panish. Panish. Okay, and the cheese right here. Yes. Huge cheese section. Wow. So right here we have goat cheese. Whoa, that's so fresh. Mm. It literally just like evaporated in my mouth. That's how like soft it was. Wow, it's delicious. Oh my god, it's a little strong too. So they, they have like cheese with herbs, cheese without herbs. They have sheep cheese, they have goat cheese as well. Wow, can some more? This is from cow. From cow? This is actually easier, the other one's strong. Mm. 
Whoa, this is like <laughs> too good. It's too fresh, you know what I mean? This is like made today. So sheep with herbs. Mmm, I like it. It's strong, but you have the, it's almost like a minty taste to it, a little different. Whoa, that is phenomenal. So I guess, you, can, you know, you have endless cheese here, you can try whatever you want. They also have string cheese. Look, right here, string cheese. Can I try one string cheese? Can I grab I a piece? So, yeah. Whoa, whoa, look at this, look how long this is. I just need a piece. Sorry guys. I'm gonna grab one little piece. Wow. That is fresh. Oh, what's oh, it? It's with bread. Like. Oh, this is this is with bread? Yes. Cheese okay. with bread. Actually, like cheese with bread. So you just like. Kind of oh, what's she doing here? Sure. Oh my gosh, she's giving me like a cheese. Fish. She's making me a cheese sandwich uh -huh. here. <laughs> and do I put this inside too? Uh huh. It did. Everything just go all out here. Whoa. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> and grapes. <laughs> Fluffy bread, salty cheese, and you have the burst of the grapes. She's too kind. She's too kind. <laughs> this is like a, this is my second breakfast, guys. Mmm. This cheese, whatever it is, is so different. And what is this? I eat this? Yeah, it's great. And it's tarhun called tarhun. Mm. And it's very great with cheese, actually. So. With cheese? Yes. And we eat it with like. So just like uh, put it in here. Mm -hmm. oh. Whoa, that is very minty. Yeah. This one minty. Mmm. Yeah, with the bread like that. Basically, they gave me a delicious cheese sandwich, some grapes, some herbs. I mean, this is ridiculous. I've never had a sandwich like this. The cheese is very strong, but the herbs inside it, mixed with the bread. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> this is just juice from fresh fruits? Mursats, kopek, kopek, hashbat, salmi. Wow, so refreshing. So this is pear. So this is the Armenian fruit with the quince. It's super refreshing. It's very light. It tastes very similar to a pear though. But, wow, it's just like a, a delicious water. <laughs> mm, it was so good. The hospitality here is ridiculous. I mean, I, they're like, I can literally sit here and get full. <laughs> Just like cheese, bread, drink, and go get some pomegranate wine, some more, some more meats. Right? Oh my God, the sun. <laughs> Uh, this uh, man, he is asking me what else we can treat David because they want to treat everything, everything. So what else you want, David? <laughs> so they, they, they are gonna treat you with everything. Uh, Armenian people. hospitality is yes. the best. Hey man, thank you so much. Thank you. But I'm okay. I'm getting really full. I mean, if I keep eating, I'm not gonna eat lunch. Today. <laughs> the cheese here is just incredible. So many different varieties. Here, this I haven't even seen this. It's like it looks more like almost like Swiss cheese, right? But it's it's Armenian cheese. This lady is too funny. She just gave me a peach. Mm. Oh, I love peaches, and this one's like super, super sweet. Mm. All right, one more, one more. Mm. This is like a, this is like a strong mozzarella. Mm. It tastes like mozzarella, but it's strong. Some cow. Woo, that's a strong one. Shonat sanun soon. This is really an epic market. I highly suggest coming here with no breakfast. So come here on an empty stomach. You can try different cheeses, you know, meats, try some pomegranate wine, some juices. I mean, it's an endless market. Easy, like 50 plus vendors. A lot of the dried fruits, a lot of cheese, a lot of bread. They also have a never endless meat section. You can go here and buy, you know, if you really want to buy stuff. If you're staying here in town for a few days, you want to buy some poultry or some meat to make at home, you can do that as well. I highly recommend just coming here, just exploring, trying some of the dried fruits. It's the best. It really is the most delicious and the cheese. The cheese is so good. Yes. By the way, the lavash is their side. We can go to... Lavash? Yes, like okay. fresh one. Let, let's try, let's, let's go see the lavash. Yes. Let's go see the lavash. Yes. Oh, wow. Bread, bread. Oh, some more. So we didn't finish here. This bread. Uh, here we are in the lavash section. So we can see different kind of lavash. Uh, so the, the colors are different. Uh, the, the, uh, the, like the difference is that this kind of lavash is kind of a red. It's prepared of uh, red. Uh, flour. This one is prepared from white flour and the difference between this one and that one is that this is prepared in the like stone 
Marconi and this one is prepared in the like wooden like in, in the wood that's why the, the, they are the same kind but the uh, like so so one one's done in the stone tandoor the other one's done in the wood tandoor which is basically the oven well so we're trying something we're trying one thing? okay guys she gave us way too much lavash so as you can see it's like super thin flatbread you know different varieties different flour I'm gonna break off a piece right here Usually you put cheese inside, you can put some, you know, some, uh, not jam, but you can also put some like different things inside here. Like yesterday we had some uh, wana paste, which is amazing. Mm. Mm. Phenomenal bread. Right now I'm really full, but I'll try it. <laughs> Why so much? She gave me a whole packet for free. <laughs> Armenians are the best. No more bread. No more bread. I'm done eating. I can't eat any more food. Let's go to the other market. Where, where is it? How far is it? Oh, it's not far. It's, it's uh, actually it looks like it's uh, from two to three kilometers. Let's go. Near the Republic Square. So. Just it's a one minute walk to Vernissage yes. and we will explore really interesting, really amazing things like handmade things, crafts, souvenirs. And here we go, this is the entrance to the Vernissage, the flea market. Over here to the left we have swords, over there we have lots of souvenirs, you got like chains, jewelry, you know, religious stuff. And then we have never ending, never ending vendors. Let's go explore the Vernissage. Everything. Everything. Like Christian stuff. Oh, I love the t-shirts here. Yes, t -shirts are cool. Look at these t-shirts. Really cool. That's so that's and everything is with Armenian motifs. Yeah, so it's like they are all like ancient Armenian in a way, right? Wow. They got bracelets, like never-ending bracelets. This is very like Asia, like the crossroads of Asia, yes. you know? These are like handmade wallets. Yeah. This is nice. Armenian print, this is awesome. Armenian pattern, like oh, yeah? Oh wow, this is cute. This is like for my daughters. <laughs> what is inside here? Oh, but this is like for glasses, yeah, right? For, for glasses. What about for kids? Okay, this is really cool. So they have scarves for, with the Armenian flag, right? So this is the Armenian flag. Is this wool or what is this? Cotton? Do you know? Oh, this is nice. So this is I'm gonna be in the villages? How much? How much for this? It's kind of Two yeah, two pieces. Two How pieces much? Two, two pieces for the four thousand five hundred. Four thousand five hundred. Yes. And what about that? With that? It's five thousand. But all of this. How much? One, one price. Piece. One price. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take. I'll take all of it. So total price came out to nine thousand. Nine thousand is exactly like twenty U.S. So I got right here what twenty thousand. So I have like forty dollars right here. Okay, where should go? My friend. So this is it. This is a twenty. This is the biggest bill? No. No, no, it's bigger bill. So she gave me a little discount. She gave me like 500 off, which is good. I mean, she already said it's already a low price. So she lowered it a little more because I bought three pieces. 10,000. 10,000, nice. Perfect. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Yes. It was a little too hot to keep the scarf and beanie on, so I took it all off. But, as you can see, it's like really just never-ending souvenirs here. You have over here to the right, you have cups, more pottery, you have some clocks there. You also have over here, like, what is this? This is cool. It's just like crafts, huh? Whoa, this is awesome. I like this. This is like, this is where they had the cheese earlier. They put it into here. The cheese was in here. Tea set right here. Handmade tea set. Wow. And then... What is this guy? A guy Whoa. who is playing duduk. Duduk is Armenian instrument, musical instrument. This is duduk? Yes, so we can go and see duduk yeah, and so the music now it's playing there. Okay, okay, here you can see very wooden stuff like crafts. It's uh, Armenian kachkars, very well known. Uh, it's pomegranate and here you can see Armenian churches. As you know, like Armenians were first Christian countries, so that's why you can see a lot of Christian stuff here. Here is uh, Armenian church, traditional one, like church from Harabakh, Sevan, uh, Zvartnots and a lot of stuff. We are trying to keep Christian stuff 
as much as possible. So one of the most famous things here in Armenia are these types of churches. And they date back to the Byzantine time, right? Yeah. These, right? So easily like 1500 plus years. Wow, they're really, really beautiful. And the thing is, you know, the, the rock, the tuf, tuf, tuf. The tuf so rock has, yeah, it's the pink snow, but it has 40 different colors. That's why all the buildings look a little different. Uh, you can see here Nardi, it's Armenian traditional game, like uh, men, mostly men, they are playing this game with two people and you can see the one, <laughs> how they, they did and it's actually made uh, by uh, wood. Yeah, so like I saw these beautiful wooden carvings with the lion and I was like, wow, what is that? And they were like, oh, it's actually a board game, it's not like a, a table, I thought it was a table. But it's a board game, so the guys sell the board game here, and they have the dice is right here in front, and they have oh, and they have this as well. So, so it's the dice is to roll, right? And then these are like the actual ch like chess. Yeah, so you you play, okay? And then what is this? It's like a it's a pipe. Oh, there's a pipe. This is cool, man. It's a weird pipe. <laughs> and they have like rosaries for men. These are all rosaries for men. So very similar to the Greeks, they have the rosary. You know, just like doom, 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 doom. Like basically, they, they just like count it, right? As they're just counting it. As you can see, this market is endless, forever. I mean, there's so many different things here. Over here to the left, we have some like coffee makers. And behind me, you can see right here, we have like basically small barrels for brandy. This one is really unique because the barrel, right? And then on the side, you have the cups. So you fill it up. Then you pour the brandy. And if you guys didn't know, Armenia is famous for their brandy. The Arat Brandy Factory is like the most famous one. I'm actually going there in a few days. I'm super excited about that because I haven't tried brandy here yet. But hopefully we could try some wine around here. I really want to try a cup of wine or maybe a beer. Maybe some Armenian beer. Look at these chess boards. Incredible. I mean, the craftsmanship that goes into this. And how much does this cost? Can you ask them how much does one of these cost? 45000 so like $100 for this, I mean, and look at the, the craftsmanship, incredible. And it actually folds open, and this is how it looks outside. And you were saying that the world champion of chess yes, is from here? Armenian. What's his name? Levon Aronian. Levon Aronian. Levon Aronian. 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 Shout out to him. <laughs> uh, now we are moving there, where Armenian uh, national musical instrument Duduk is playing. This is just an uh, instrument which is made of like apricot, uh, apricot uh, tree. Okay, this is typical Armenian music. <laughs> It's really hard to say thank you here or like Yes. Yeah, see in Arabic it's very easy. Chokran. In Italian it's grazie. This is like Shora It's like but it, it sounds like a really really long phrase. Yeah, it's So right here we have Armenian ceramics as you can see these are like for the wall and in the center we have this beautiful piece it's like an angel really right yes. it's an angel with the wings and it's just, it's an angel but also has a spear and a shield I love it and this was 60,000 so it's like oh. What is that, $120? Yeah, kind of. A $120? That's not bad. It's expensive for this. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's hand work. We've now entered the painting part of the market. As you can see, this is like a huge row, easily like 50 different vendors selling paintings. I love some of these, but over here to the left, we have some incredible ones that is really like Armenia, the churches of Armenia with the mountains in the backdrop. Look at these. These are incredible. It looks like really vivid and real. You know, it looks, it looks Man, these painters are amazing. The painters are behind there? That's the painter, right? Or no? <laughs> hey, some of these guys are the painters. I mean, the painters no, are always next the to their painter. section, though, no. right? No? Oh, got it. He's the painter. He's the painter, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Usually it's how it is, right? The painters are always with their, with their stuff. How, how much is like one of these? How much does that cost? 6000 6, 6, Wow, 6000 That's not a bad price. So, so it's $120 for this. I think it's gorgeous. I mean, if you really like Armenian and like, you know, you have this in your house. Wow, that one's awesome. And this is, yeah, the spirit of Armenia. And you can see this is like the Byzantine style church with uh, the turf rock, turf volcanic rock. As we walk through the painting part of the market, you could see every single artist has its own style. Some are very, very vivid. Some are very different in terms of less like what they use. This one is like, you know, more like uh, abstract in a way. Just throwing the colors together, you know, telling a story. 
So the one thing I always buy my two nephews, because they love soccer, they're like soccer fanatics, is I always buy them jerseys in every country I visit, whenever I can find it. And here they have the Armenian soccer jersey. This is the official team jersey, is the home team is red. For 6,000, which is like 12 US dollars, right, 12 US dollars? 12 US dollars, you get the complete outfit, so you get the shorts, right, and the jersey. Let me see that, wow, and then, is this, he's the most famous player? Armenia very good player. David, we are now in the silver part of the market. Here you can see a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, silver jewelry, uh, a lot of jewelry with enamel mainly. All of them are handmade and with different kind of stones you can see. And the main like is the uh, silver and with enamel, with stones uh, and uh, amazing like earrings, like uh, necklaces, like bracelets, every kind of stuff. Silver, endless silver. I like this one, the turtle. And it's for the chain, no? This one's awesome. You put it on the chain like that. Oh, this is super, super nice. Oh, that's that, I like that one. Let me see. Oh, it's the ring. This is the part of Armenian carpet, and this carpet is Kalitarekan. Uh, it's almost 125 years old. This carpet. It's so old. And and this one is uh, so the same age. Like all of these carpets are handmade. All of them are handmade. All of them are handmade. Uh, awesome. This is like a ten, uh, like thousand dollars. This thousand dollars. A thousand dollars for a hundred and twenty-five year old carpet. Yes. That is so worth it. So she has some really really cool hats right here. These are Armenian hats, but they're saying like. <laughs> but she's saying like no one really wears this in public. Like I would look weird in public wearing this. So I don't know if I'm gonna buy it because I really if I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna wear it every single day. Uh, but they're really cool patterns in the same same material. It's it's, it's wool, right? These are all wool. Yeah. It's yeah. Wool so same material as oh, this one's tight as the as the carpets. Can you see? This one's cool. This one's too big. <laughs> I think this is the best size, actually, the one I wore earlier. Maybe that one. You saw that one. Oh, this is nice. I like it. It's a really nice hat. How much? How much for this one? Five thousand. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. I have six and seven husbands. You have six and seven husbands? <laughs> All right, guys. So I think I'm gonna buy this one. It's a uh, five thousand, so like ten U.S. dollars. But it's very nice. I love the patterns. It fits me really well. So there's different sizes. This is a 58. It's just right. 59 was a little too big. 57 was extremely tight. This one's the one, and uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with it. I'm not gonna wear it every single day. I'll probably wear it like here and there, but I like it. Ah, so I got it, son. So All right, guys, so I decided to go with it. Uh, you know, whenever I go to any country, I have like to dress like a local. Here, they don't really use anymore. I mean, they do, but like not in Yerevan. It's mostly like in smaller villages outside. And yeah, I mean, you should definitely do this. You support the economy by, you know, buying some goods, you know, dress like locals, eat like locals, and, and you'll have a blast. And yeah, guys, I think this is the end of our tour here of the two markets. Yes. Uh, incredible two markets. I mean, the gum market, we tried so many different things. My favorite thing, I don't know, the cheese is so good. The cheese, also <laughs> that, bread. also the meat, the one that's yes. salty and yes. peppery. Basturma. That's Basturma. Basturma, yes. Basturma. And then pomegranate juice. I mean, yes. so many delicious things there. Came over here, bought tons of stuff. I bought some jerseys. Oh. I bought uh, a scarf, uh, a beanie. Don't worry, don't worry. A map. I mean, I bought endless stuff. I also bought this. And I think you should definitely do both these markets. I mean, they're must do's. The other one's the produce market. This one's like, you know, flea markets, souvenirs, tons of souvenirs. You can really go shopping forever here. I highly recommend at least bringing at least like 100 US dollars so you can buy a few things, especially if this is like your, your last day, you know, in Armenia. Definitely come here and buy your, you know, your family gifts. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the two markets of Yerevan. If you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Armenia. Peace. Oh, my God.